And the people were like black market, tailgate, parking lot, slang and poo tickets at premium value price. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to this installment of My Favorite Burgers featuring my favorite crackers and my favorite dip all on the planet making for one rather unordinary mukbang mukbang. However, for me, it will be a delight in the night. So as you may see front and center, we have the Whoppers. If you've been on the channel for a while, you know, it's my femme fatale. Once the seed is in my brain, a Whopper is going down and it has to happen. It's just a thing. Also, hell of a good French onion dip is on another level of delicious that uh, it just can't be contended with. Wheat Thins, easily my favorite cracker, or Fins au blé, because we are in Canuckland, Canada, and uh, that's French. Montreal, Quebec, shout out Bodine. <laughs> but this, multigrain. Usually there's a different stoned wheat, like natural. The multigrain, when they came out with it, changed my life. So it has to be specifically the multigrain. So I'm going to go ahead and take some configuration protocols. I'll spare you those details and then we'll have everything set up, ready to ride, ready to eat, ready to chat, ready to do things. Da, 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 da. All right. So as to make our lives more efficient and easier, I have everything in containment units. Very cute. These are out of their containment units. They're wrappers. Now, unfortunately, today I was slacking on my pimping with the ice machine. I have no ice in the house and you guys know I'm trying to stay off this diet soda. So... I'm already poured up with a nice H2O. It's a little plain Jane, it's a little boring. And that's really, really unfortunate because you guys know me. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger, AKA Mr. Freeze from Batman Forever. I love my drinks, I love my beverages at a polar ice cap, Jack and Rose, deathbed water, Titanic level coldness. Now, the best way to go about that, if you're on the move or you're sporty or anything like that and you like your drinks at a chattery cold you're gonna do that with the coldest water you can get your very own bottle through the links in my description you get 10 percent off your entire order using the code hoodie you can also enter to win their giveaway they give one away one every week one's free and i myself i'm about the 21 ounces it's just that personal on the move bottle so please do go down below if you'd like to use that code i get a kickback it helps me it helps me so if you support me and you want to see me succeed in this life boom that's it right there down below all right so let's get tucked into one of these whoppers sometimes i get just a whopper crave and like fries nothing like that appeals to me and uh i was on a little mission running around and i saw wheat thins i was like that would be a nice little accompaniment with some dip to some whoppers this is the first in my life this is a kind of a dream meal for me so i'm excited for it let's tuck into this bird Yes, yes, indeed. That is a whopper I can get down for. I can tell there's not really like a lot of the extra veg as much, but I will say the sauce and the veg level is actually combining perfect right now. These are matching up so nice. Tell me down below, what's your favorite cracker? I'm legitimately intrigued because I love crackers. 
and I haven't really had this conversation with, with you guys on this channel before. You know, how often are we eating crackers and mukbangs? Not very often. Mm. There's a whole slew of good crackers out there. I love these for the taste, the saltiness, the snap, the resistance they have. It's kind of like a crisper. I absolutely love crispers. Crisper salt and vinegar, crisper all dress. But I don't know if they're a cracker or a chip. That's always been their, kind of their selling slogan. But crispers are so high up there for me. Also, vegetable thins, bacon dippers. There's crackers called Swiss cheese. Mm. For me with crackers, it is all about, I want to say texture. I just love firm snap I'm not as into like airy buttery crumbly crackers Though they are good as well. I prefer firm snap. So I was just out in the boat, just grabbing a few things. And I can confirm in my location, even though we don't even have one single confirmed case of Rona season all the Lysol all the toilet paper all the paper towel it sold out where I was Food? Food's fine. People don't seem to be worried about eating. Guess what? If you starve and you have nothing to eat, you won't even have to wipe your butt. I overheard one of the, the <clears throat> cashiers at the checkout talking to a guy about how when they got a new shipment, they were sold out in 20 minutes. People were calling to check on when the order was coming in. And that people were like black market, like tailgate parking lot slang and poo tickets at premium value price what is this world coming to people are losing it which is so unfortunate because there's people who are like hoarding all these resources and these are like people who are fortunate they have vehicles like things like that they're not elderly like they have the ability to go do this stuff there's, so, there's people out there who are like struggle city or they're like old and shit 
and they don't even like they're getting everything cleaned out and they're not even gonna have a chance to get stuff concerned about was getting some whoppers before it's all over. <laughs> I know it's serious in places and people are legitimately perishing or having like the worst time of their life but I just feel like we have to also consider the numbers like I guess we haven't seen what it's going to become yet in the west but like Canada has 30 million people there's 140 confirmed cases like that ratio of people to the, to the population is like so small and people are freaking out in the states there's like a thousand maybe two thousand cases and there's i don't even know how there's like 300 million people in the states there's a few thousand cases like that said, I understand that it's the, the, the spread that is, is the risk. I just think people are getting a little ahead of themselves. say this I'm legitimately perusing flights to buy now for like months from now so I can hit up some travel at a discounted rate also this burger is on another level I'm delicious but yeah book some future flights wow the getting's good I saw this one article on Facebook about this 27 year old dude who's like booking all these flights and just traveling like a maniac right now and he was like interviewed and he just said if I die I die just doesn't care. Good attitude to have. Because he'll likely be fine. And just get to enjoy his life. Traveling for cheap. I just want to finish off this dip here. The last half of that second Whopper it 
was legitimately magic. The sauce to veg ratio. Extra mayo -y tomato pick tomato pickle combination. Too hot to trot, baby. And these uh these thins with this dip. Not far behind. Not far at all. What a great combination. I take the chi uh, I take the crackers and dip over fries, honestly, any day. This might reoccur in my life. All right, well, don't lose your heads. You know, wash up, isolate yourself a bit, be vigilant and diligent in your cleanliness. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.